Hi guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another creature comparison. Well, now I've got a tall tale to tell about you from the family of Giraffidae. Because now we're going to do the giraffe or Giraffa camelopardalis versus the Okapi or Okapia johnstoni. Stretch out your neck and let's begin. Now then, let's start with the similarities. First up, both the giraffe and the okapi are even-toed ungulates that belong to the family Giraffidae. And they both eat leaves from trees and bushes, which they strip off the branches with their long tongues. And in order to get a drink of water, both the giraffe and the okapi have to spread their legs out to lower their heads to the water. And the giraffe has valves in the artery and veins of its neck that interrupt the blood flow. This protects the brain from too much blood pressure when the head is lowered, and it halts the rapid flow of blood back to the heart when the head is raised. Now then, let's talk about the differences. First up, their ranges and habitat preferences. Giraffes are found in many parts of sub-Saharan Africa and are mainly found on the grasslands. By contrast, the Okapi lives solely in the Democratic Republic of Congo and lives in the rainforest. There are also many different subspecies of giraffe, such as the Maasai giraffe, the reticulated giraffe, the cordophon giraffe, and the incredibly rare Rothschild's giraffe. But by contrast, there's only one type of okapi. In terms of their physical appearance, giraffes have blotchy spots on their necks and bodies that act like camouflage, and each spot pattern is unique to a subspecies. By contrast, the okapi has zebra-like stripes on its front and hind legs that help give it cover in the jungle. Giraffes also tend to congregate in small, loose-knit herds where each member faces in a different direction to keep a lookout for predators, like lions. Okapis, on the other hoof, live alone except for mothers with calves. Also, since it is the tallest land mammal in the world, the giraffe is much bigger than the okapi. An adult male giraffe weighs 1,300 to 20,000 kilograms, or 2,800 to 4,410 pounds, while an adult female weighs 1,100 to 1,600 kilograms, or 2,425 to 3,527 pounds, and are 457 to 570 centimeters, or 180 to 224 inches long, including the tail, and can stand 15 to 20 feet tall. On the other hoof, a fully grown okapi stands a meter and a half, or four feet 11 inches tall at its shoulder. It's usually about two and a half meters or eight feet two inches long, and it ranges in weight from 200 to 350 kilograms or 440 to 770 pounds. Also, unlike giraffes, female okapis are bigger than males. Also, because of habitat loss and poaching for their hides, okapis are rarer than giraffes. There are currently only 22,000 okapis left in the wild. By contrast, there are approximately 117,000 giraffes left in the wild. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the giraffe and the okapi. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 
Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? Alright, let's see. Ah! Well, this next one is a recent request from my good friend Simon J. Alpha Lion Simba, out!